I apologize personally and on behalf of this board. With a look of remorse, Michigan State Board of Trustees Chair Dr. Rima Vassar apologized for the board's decision to retain attorney-client privilege and now release 6,000 documents from a convicted sexual molester Larry Nasser's investigation. She spoke at the end of Friday's general council meeting in East Lansing. We recognize that MSU is a continual site for, of trauma for survivors. We will continue to devote time and resources to facilitate a healing culture for all members of our community. Do you buy her apology based on everything that has happened between your office and the board of trustees? Well, I really don't because, you know, I, I've read a few of the interviews and she's talked about basically reopening old wounds. They're the ones that reopen the wounds. Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel expressed disappointment after the board's decision without a vote. Um, Nessel the says the board requested the AG's office open an investigation into the Nasser documents, only to block the top prosecutor once again. This type of gamesmanship um, is incredibly perplexing and it's disturbing. And I think it does an incredible disservice to the survivor community and to the student body at Michigan State University. The request for the documents was to determine how MSU handled the investigation and who else was accountable. It was an opportunity for That's trustees right. to show um, more transparency. After here, Friday's meeting, we spoke to Mary Scholes of Posse, parents of sister survivors engaged. Do you accept her apology or do you buy her apology? You know, yeah, I do. I uh, I accept her apology and I buy her apology um, because this is an emotional issue. I took her apology as it's not the time, but that she knows that we're not going away. The posse group is not going away. The over 500 survivors are not going away. Brandon Hudson, Fox 2 News.